Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Saturday, August 17th, 2024, Saturday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew, chapter 19, verses 13 through 15. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel is short but packed with meaning. Just picture this. Parents are bringing their kids to Jesus hoping that he'll bless them. But the disciples who think that they're just doing the right thing try to shoo them away. But Jesus stops them and says, let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is making a huge statement here. He's saying that the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. But what does that mean for us? Well, children have this incredible ability to trust, to be open, and to live simply. They don't come to Jesus with a list of achievements or qualifications. They just come as they are. St. Teresa of Lisieux, the little flower, got this so well when she said, Jesus does not demand great actions from us, but simply surrender and gratitude. That's what Jesus is looking for in us, a heart that's open, trusting, and grateful. So how do we live this out? Well, let's break it down. First, trust God like a child. Kids trust their parents completely. They know they'll be taken care of. We need to have that same trust in God. He's got us no matter what. Next, embrace simplicity. Our world is all about having more and doing more, but Jesus calls us to simplicity. St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, said that not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Focus on the simple acts of love and kindness in your daily life. Finally, let's stay open. Just like kids are always open to learning and growing, we need to stay open too to what God wants to teach us. Let's be ready to hear his voice and follow his lead. When Jesus says, let the children come to me, he's inviting all of us to approach him with that same childlike heart. And he's also calling us to protect and nurture the faith of the children who are around us in our lives. So how are we helping the next generation to know and to love Jesus? Let's take a moment today to ask ourselves, are we coming to Jesus with the trust, simplicity, and openness of a child? Are we helping the children in our lives to do the same thing? Jesus' words are a powerful reminder to us not only to welcome the children, but to learn from them and to embody their pure, trusting faith. And so today, let's pray and surrender our hearts to Christ today with the same trust and love of a child. We invite you to continue praying with us. 
Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.